Greetings or good evening. Right, try and keep this short. Uh, Rob's gone very quiet. And uh, our support worker, I called her a continuity warden, she's a support worker, a large lady, black, you know, West Indian. I do like the West Indians. They make wonderful nurses, you know, very happy and jolly. And uh, Sylvia, part of her job is, well, her main job is filling out forms when people are claiming allowances and benefits. And she said to me, of course she didn't go into too many details, but you know, I'm, I knew what she was getting at. She said, you wouldn't believe the people who try to claim benefits and allowances as author. Uh, I, I says, well, she filled my form in, you know, and I've just got to gather a few documents uh, together and I'll be sending them in. And she says, uh, I said to her, what, uh, do you think I've got much of a chance so at keeping my benefits. She says, oh yeah, because you're on it already. She said, it's these people who are claiming for the first time who have a problem. I says, well, what happens, Sylvia, if just, if possibly they don't pass it? She says, then we feel. Simple as that. She says, look, stop worrying about it. This is my speciality. I know what I'm doing. I said, yeah, okay, do. So, you know, Sylvia is going to do me proud. And, uh, of course, I know she's getting at about claiming benefits. Uh, how can I do it without sounding too racist? The people from Iraq and Iran and the Eastern Europeans who are flooding into the country and uh, trying to claim all the benefits, well, you know, Sylvia is part of her job. So she says, don't worry, I'll make sure you, your money, you will keep it just I've seen you walking. And you do wobble at times. <laughs> I said, yeah, well, I don't think I'm pissed, Sylvia, because I don't drink. She says, no, 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 I know you don't. She says, but you're not very steady on your feet, are you? I said, well, no. And she wrote things down, you know, and what about this, can you, do? I said, no, she said, right, I have a cleaner, I said, the cleaner can get down, she can bend over, you know, not not go dizzy, and she can get down on her hands and knees and get up again, that's something else I can't do, so she wrote all that down, <coughs> and she says, don't worry about it. Ahem, <coughs> such a bad chest. <coughs> Yeah, and uh, so you now I'm going to leave it to Sylvia. Yeah, bless her. I can also tell when she comes in the yard, in her car, boom, 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 boom. I said, Sylvia, I watched you reverse out the yard the other day, and you got your music pounding out, and you were struggling to get... I said, why don't you turn... Oh, no, no, no. She said, I've got to have my music playing. I said, oh, oh well. But anyway, yeah, so I don't think I've got anything to worry about. I'll leave it all to Sylvia, the support worker, who supports our wardens. Now, I did say on Facebook, uh, I've had a hard day. Oh, yeah, before I say that, uh, there's so many videos I've got to watch, and I just can't find the time to get round to them because I'm tired again, once again. Um, I won't be late going to bed uh, tonight. I've managed to watch Scooby's. At Alder Hay Hospital, and I'm watching one of Trevs at the moment, and there's so many of them. So you know, because I don't watch them or don't comment, don't mean to say I'm ignoring you. I just can't find the time. I mean, all of us, I suppose. Oh, they could have a fag, eh? It would make a change, wouldn't it? All of us have to try and find time to watch other people's videos. I mean, Sam just keeps sending me links. Bless him. <laughs> Don't take offence at anything I say, Sam. I'd be very disappointed in you if you did. You should know me by now. God, bleeding glasses. So, as I put on Facebook, uh, and so many of you are not on Facebook, uh, where's the mic, where's the camera, yeah. <laughs> I would put the, ca the microphone on the other side. 
I might do that if the wire will reach. But uh, come on, I digress. Uh, as I'm diabetic, uh, the clinic cuts my toenails because you know if I had to cut my toe, the chances are it wouldn't heal. You know, because of poor circulation, and it would go black and turn to gangrene. And like my eldest brother, I don't want to lose me feet, legs, etc. So, what we're talking about? Uh, the clinic cuts my toenails, and Lorraine, who I always ask for, she cut my nails. You know. And my feet's very tender, you know. I was going, <gasps> oh, 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 she says, I'll say, I haven't touched your feet yet. I says, I know, dog. <laughs> and uh, she cut my nails and filed them down and uh, filed the hard skin. And then the thing she uses, she has to throw away because she can't use it on other people, so she gives it me. That thing. It's rough one side, I know you can't see on the screen. It's, that side is actually rough but you can't really see and uh, it's handy for your nails right you know filing your nails so the one she was using today she's gave me that and uh, I said to her I wear trainers all the time Lorraine she says well that's good she says trainers are very good for your feet she says a lot of these youngsters uh, today wear trainers uh, they live and sleep in trainers, she says, and they won't have the problems that the older generation have had with corns and bunions. And uh, I think she's got a very good point there. Yeah. My old mate Ken, before he died, he was in his 80s, you know, and he was very strictly conservative wearing his leather shoes. And he used to say to me, from wearing those damn things, they're not good for your feet at all. Well, no, he was absolutely completely wrong. Trainers are good for your feet. And these women wear these tight little leather shoes and they're ruining the feet. But you can't... <laughs> <coughs> a woman can't go out at night in a ball gown and wear <laughs> trainers, can she? No. Me and my daughter's feet aren't good at all, but the fucking shoes she wears, how the hell she squeezes her feet into them and they're ruining the feet. So, wear trainers. They are very good for you. Uh, the old fogies, the old farts, you know, will tell you different, but no, I think uh, Lorraine is absolutely right, isn't she? I'm sure Trev probably wears them. Uh, the mayor said he walks around a lot in bare feet. Well, when you go out, I'm sure you don't go out in bare feet, do you? So you probably wear trainers, I don't know. Well, if you do wear shoes, they've got to be loose fitting, not tight. That's what fucks your feet up, gives you corns and bunions. Yeah, so Lorraine, micropodist, podiatry or something like that, she's right. And Sylvia, the sport worker, who's dealing with my uh, claim. Uh, yeah, two, two women who are very good to me. Hmm. So, yeah, I'll carry on watching Trev's video. And I will get try. I, 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 I will uh, get round to try to watch other videos. But if I don't, it's because I haven't got the time. I haven't got the time, darlings. You know, because uh, you know I get so tired. Uh, bingo! This afternoon, I only read the first part, the first numbers out, and I was one number away on so many games. Then another lady read the second off and uh, most games I got down to one number and I wanted it and it wouldn't come out. Probably that's judgment on me for my last video joking about a lady, poor lady here who's passed away. You know, I treated it as a bit of a joke and I shouldn't have done that. Lord forgive me. But it's on now and I'm not going to remove it. No. Because uh, they are my thoughts. Hmm. Whether people like it or not. You know, they. Uh, I haven't disabled likes and dislikes and some people may click dislike and if they do I won't blow a fuse. Uh, probably that's why Rob's disappeared because I do have little digs at him and I s he probably says it don't bother him but I think he does. Yeah. Right. Oh it's gone on. Oh god. Let's see I'm going. Where's the arrow? Come on you bastard. Here we are. Get it on the right spot. Say bye. <laughs>